Now to that other tragic story over the weekend, breaking new details in the NFL tragedy in Kansas City. Chiefs linebacker Jovan Belcher fatally shooting his girlfriend and then taking his own life. Just 24 hours later, the team finding the strength to get back on the field. ABC's John Schriffen is in Kansas City with the very latest on this story. John, good morning to you. Elizabeth, good morning. Head coach, uh, Chiefs head coach Romeo Cornell said he made the decision to play the game to help his players take their minds off their, quote, misery for a few hours. Meanwhile, this morning, as police, fellow NFL players and friends try to figure out just why Belcher took his life so violently, ABC News has learned that he regularly visited gun ranges and had several weapons in his home. ABC News has learned Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Javon Belcher not only owned guns, but he and his girlfriend Cassandra Perkins used them recreationally. I know that before she was pregnant that they liked to go to the gun range and shoot and that it was a lot of fun for them. Police say Saturday Belcher turned one of those guns on Perkins, reportedly shooting her nine times at the home the couple shared with their three-month-old daughter. The child was spared. But police say the 25-year-old then drove to Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium, thanked his coaches for believing in him, and shot himself as they watched in horror. It's hard to believe you can go out and focus on football in the wake of such a devastating situation. Overnight, a somber and at times silent stadium. Fans join the Chiefs organization in a moment of silence. Players and fans mourn Belcher and Perkins. It was tough. You miss him, you know? He's a, he was a great guy, great teammate. Yet even as the team gathered after the game, questions swirl about what could have set Belcher off. When any person has an issue or has problems, if they're not totally honest with you about their issues or their problems, then you cannot give them the correct help. Belcher had no history of domestic violence, and while playing football at the University of Maine, he joined the Male Athletes Against Violence Initiative. Student athletes who signed up said they would educate themselves on issues surrounding domestic violence. The couple reportedly argued in the hours before the shooting about a concert Perkins attended Friday night. Brianna York knew them both. Concert. She says while they occasionally fought, they always reconciled. The last time that they, you know, had a little fight that she left for a few days, but she didn't like move out. She just took a little space, but she was never planning to just leave. Now, some are now questioning if Belcher had undiagnosed head injuries, but the team has denied those rumors. George? Okay, John, thanks very much. Just a horrible story.